everyone, it's Karen here from topplescolor.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is today's project. It's an acetate card with balloons. Stick with me and I'll show you what I did. Got myself a piece of Whisper White card and I'm going to be using this stamp set which is called Celebrate Today and it's in our annual catalogue. And I'm going to be using these two stamps to begin with. Uh, now, this is a photopolymer stamp set, so I want to say a couple of things about stamping with photopolymer. Um, and the first one is that um, you need to make sure that you've got something to stamp into, so you need a bit of a bit of squish. Now, I'm using my, um, my silicon mat here today. Uh, some people like to use piercing mat. I find that the, the silicon mat, generally speaking, works quite well for me. Um, and I'm going to be using crushed curry ink to begin with. Uh, one thing I want to say is that for my particular set of uh, stamps, there is a little dent that somehow got put into the stamp. You just see it's just catching the light there, right about there. So I know that that is the area that I'm going to have to pay most attention to when I'm stamping. Uh, also today I am stamping on my squishy table, my bouncy picnic table. So I may have trouble with this one, but you know what? That's not to worry. We will just give it a go and we will see what happens. Let's move my, my mouse out of the way. Right, so I'm going to push that down and press. And that is the area where I need to give extra attention. So I'm going to press down really, really firmly with my thumb on that area. And I'm going to give the ink plenty of time to transfer. And fingers crossed. Yes, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a, uh, you know, a, a little bit of a dent in that area. I'm not going to obsess too much over that because I'm going to, um, I'm, I'm going to cover that up. Otherwise, but if I, um, if I was concerned, um, I could go back with my matching um, stamp and write marker and just kind of fill in the edges there. Or I could just say, do you know what? It's a highlight. What the hey? And just leave it there. So I've done crushed curry. And I'm going to bring in my stamp and scrub. Because I want to clean my... Uh, what's the word? Stamp. I'm losing my words today. So cleaning my stamp. Getting the... Yeah, and again, I apologise for the bouncing. And we just hope that iMovie can do its stuff. And the next one I'm going to do is tempting turquoise. I'm going to move that along slightly. So, so same thing again. And that's the area where I need to give extra attention. So I'm going to give that a bit of an extra press. And you see, that's that's not too shabby. That came out pretty well. Uh, they always seem to work better second time around, for some reason. So do a few practice stamps on a on a bit of scrap, on a bit of something that doesn't matter. Okay, just cleaning off my stamp before I put it away, because you know what, stamp hygiene is good. And my final one, which is going to be the one that goes in front is this one here which has let's put that away, which has the word happy on it and this one I am doing in watermelon wonder which is one of our in colours for this year and I haven't made that much use of it and maybe I should because it's a lovely bright red so this stamp doesn't have any dents or divots in it so fingers crossed, that shouldn't be too bad. And there we go. Not perfect, but do you know what? It's good enough for now. So I'm going to uh, come back with the word birthday and I'm going to stamp it underneath the happy. And I'm 
going to over stamp these two in using the the star stamp but I'll do that off camera and I'm also going to cut them out with the companion die set so I'm going to go away and do that and I'll be back soon I've made myself a card blank with some window sheet which I've cut to 8 inches by 5 and 3 quarters and I've folded it down the middle so that I've got a card blank that's 4 by 5 and 3 quarters and it's quite hard to see but it is there. Um, when I folded it I was quite firm with the bone folder to make sure that it took a good crease uh, and I've got my die cut balloons here so just to recap that one's watermelon wonder that one is crushed curry and that one isn't tempting turquoise and before I go sticking anything down I'm just going to take a couple of minutes just to arrange these on the acetate in the way I want them because I want them I want it to make absolutely clear that they are in fact balloons and not just circles because I could, could just have cut out circles so I'm quite happy with that so for the glue uh, I'm going to be using crystal effects and uh, the reason why I'm using this rather than Tombow Tombow will work I did a bit of an experimentation before I started uh, Tombow will work but crystal effects on acetate works better so I'm just gonna put down my first balloon and I'm happy with that and it is on the inside um, um, so my next balloon same thing a bit of crystal effect on the back and this one will uh, be able also be able to stick to the one that's already down I'm going to put that down right now before I go any further I've got myself a permanent mark pen this is a this is a pen designed for writing on CDs um, and I'm just gonna draw in oops that's a bit of a wobbly bow some balloon strings and where do I want them just coming down there not the world's greatest balloon strings but you know what you get the idea and the reason why I'm doing it now is because this one is going to go on top and it's going to be a lot easier for me to draw them in while I've still got a relatively flat surface to work on so again with them so I've got a bit mad on that one spread that out a bit because I don't want it so that it squishes out the side okay put the top on that for a moment I said your tombow will work um also if you've got something like um, a beacon three in one glue now I tried that as well and that works beautifully um, so if you're in a hurry that's fast grab and that will work very well for you so same again let's draw my bow and my balloon string so there are my three balloons now the thing about acetate the big thing about acetate is that you can see what goes on on the inside and the other thing is that it's you haven't got anywhere to to write so you're gonna have to do a bit of extra work oh, and that one's a bit far over actually so let's just wiggle that a little way so we are going to have to do a bit of extra work on it uh, so I've cut myself a three extra balloons from Whisper White and they're going to go on the very very back and I've cut myself six balloons out of our Whisper White envelope paper. Um, so it's going to be a lot of a lot of sticking down. So probably going to be a bit of fast forwarding going on here. So talk to you in a bit. the back of the card done um, and the good, great thing about acetate of course is that you can see right through it so I can see exactly where to put the balloons so now I'm going to go and do the same on the inside of the card 
And there it is, there's the finished item. So hope you've enjoyed this project. Uh, if you have, please do consider subscribing to my channel, giving me a, a thumbs up, giving me a like. Go and visit my blog or my Facebook page, which are underneath here. Uh, but in any case, I do hope that I'll see you again soon. So for now, bye-bye.